Monsters of Hey, got another useful monster book to look at today. Hi folks, Old Man Grognar back with another book, another monster book. This one's for Osric or any old school role playing game. It's called Monsters of Myth. This was published by uh, the, what they call the First Edition Society originally. I believe Black Blade is handling it now. And um, it's uh, been out since 2006. It's 128 pages. The author, the editors, I should say, were Stuart Marshall and Matt Finch, the original duo that would be behind Osric. And they were also helped by Steve March, who gets a special section in this book, which is interesting. It's got about 150 monsters in it. Here's the hardback. Here's what it looks like. It only comes in hardback or PDF. And uh, it's a pretty solid book. I found this one in half price books, so I picked it up along with the hardcover of Osric. And I was mighty impressed with this. I like um, monsters a bit with a twist, and it gives you it gives you that in spades. It really does. Uh, it's got, you know, some of the more unusual things in there, variations on such, the usual stuff like dragons, golems, giants, things like that. Um, for instance, I have a goblin here called a shadow goblin. And they are more degenerate than dark elves or goblins. It says a degenerate and degraded tribe of dark elves. And they're not even really elves, they're goblins, because they go out and like war parties with war paint and all this other stuff down in the Underdark. Um, so they're, they're very, they're varied enough where I like them. Uh, golems, we've got a brass golem and a Vodican golem. Um, other things, like, oh, let me show you, let me show you what the pages look like here. Here's, uh, here's one of the monster pages. Uh, very, very easy to read. Stats are really plain, you know, right there, plain to see. It's descending armor class, so you'd have to do a little conversion for the more modern ones or other things. I find this kind of a a, a theme in the later, more recent, well, I shouldn't say more recent, but the, like the retro clones and things like that, where they put the book out as an all-in-one, like, say, Basic Fantasy or Osric or something like that. And they give you everything to, to run, including the monsters. So you get your basic monster book, but they always seem to be coming out with, like, if you if that's not enough monsters for you, here's something, you know, something to, and e you know, even the even like the Rule Cyclopedia did that. I mean, they came out with a creature catalog and um, things like that, and uh, you know, it's just it's a nice little add-on to the game that doesn't really do anything to the game but give you more monsters. You know, it's it's not like they're putting out supplements where there are new rules and things like that. But a monster book is, and it's relatively easy to easy to produce, um, especially if you have a lot of contributors like uh, like Osric does with the Knights of Names people and all this. And this was compiled a lot of Matt and Stewart's monsters in there, but there's some some of other people's. Let's take another look. I like this. This is the they, there's two kinds of giants. Uh, I can't remember the other giant, but this is the Jotun giant. These are like real Norse as guardian, um, Norse gods, giants, like the ones you saw in Thor, you know, the movie. And um, it just, it gives you that great Norse flavor that I like. Um, I, I love getting into stuff like this um, because it really gives a nice flavor to the game. Uh, here's one thing with the here's here's something with a twist. You like that guy? <laughs> a unicorn, a, a cannibalistic unicorn. And if you're lucky, you know you won't <laughs> you won't mistake it for a real unicorn. If you get closer to it, you notice the horn is twisted. And he's got like a lion's tail. <clears throat> oh, and and sharp teeth if you if you get that close. But by the time you get that close, you're probably dead. So <laughs> he could be. And there's there's various hit point monsters in here, from the nuisances to the uh, you know the really deadly stuff. Another favorite of mine, the shroom. Now I all know what you're thinking. Um, yes, if you kill it and eat its flesh, you will be affected by something like a feeble mind spell. 
uh, for a period of time and things like that. So yeah, but this is an intelligent mushroom. It is an intelligent evil mushroom. The, even the description says these are unique. So make, you know, here's the stats, but kind of make them your own because they want to take over the surface dwellers there. They've always got some evil plan going. So you've got like, <laughs> so you've got, you've got a, it's great. You've got a, a mastermind mushroom. Uh, I, I, I do that. I use that in the game in a minute. Um, here's some more of it. Oh, this is getting into, this is getting, Steve Marsh of TSR fame has his own section in this book. His creature is a little more chaotic and a little bit more unusual. And he kind of tents a lot of things with chaos. So you get some really, really kind of really interesting monsters. Like this is a roach elephant. It's about the size of an elephant, but it's crossed with a roach. You notice it has six legs and antennae. Um, and it can it can really stomp the living snot out of you <laughs> if it wants to. Um, a void shark, a shark from the void. You couldn't ask for anything more like that. And in the back, they have some really nice uh, charts. Charts of all the monsters in the book by hit dice and by environment so i like i like this better than giving me an encounter chart because you know encounter charts are like they're for that book and it's hard to integrate it into whatever else you're using at the time whether your own or from another book or whatever but if you give me a, something by hit dice or something like that i can do it. it it makes it a lot easier to integrate into like a random encounter chart or table that you're doing or an existing one if you want to rewrite them. So I really like that in a uh, monster book. That's the kind of thing that can be useful. Um, getting this book. Okay, getting this book, like I said, I stumbled upon this at Half Price Books. But out there in the wild, on the internet, uh, the PDF is easy to get. You can go to the Lulu site or the Knights and Names site. For some reason, drive through or RPG Now doesn't have it. I looked. Um, but they're free. The PDF is free from either one of them. Now, if you want the print version, and I'll have all that down here when I, you know, when I put this up, uh, the Black Blade Publishing site, which I'll put, like I said, I'll put a link down there, uh, has it for $29 as a hardback. I mean, it's not all that big, but as with most monster books, it belies the bang for your buck. Because it's starting with like first edition AD&D, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, you've got the big, the big, huge things like the Monstrous Manual for 2E and other ones for like 3E, 4E, 5 you know, going up. But I've learned in the OSR that you don't have to have a big monster book to have a lot of monsters. You don't have to give them every, a single page all the time. And, uh, you know, as long as it's, and, and it's beautifully illustrated too, so I don't have to worry about that. I can deal with black and white. But, you know, the more monsters in a, in a smaller book is great. If this was digest sized, it'd be perfect. But, hey, you know, what are you going to do? But, uh, yeah, Monsters of Myth, uh, Lulu, Knights and Knaves for free, and Black Blade for $29. Um, I will, well, already said that twice. So, Hey, if you heard about this, if you got anything, you know, you want to talk about this, or you want to tell me how you used it or anything, because it can be used for any old school game or even a new school. I use it for 5e if I was running 5e. Sure, it'd be an easy conversion. But, you know, want to talk about it? Oldmangrognard at gmail.com. So until next time, bye bye <laughs>